Hi, uh, welcome back to France and Forger YouTube. Um, I'm just going to test out one of our new wands for a customer on an induction heater. And what it'll do is it allows you a flexi wand, so he wants to do riveting, so he can heat rivets up and, and then take it away, rivet it up, or undo nuts and bolts. Now, the machine on this is a 20 to 2 winding. The normal coils are up to about 2.3. These are, these are 1810 long, but you have to experiment with the coils to see what ones the machine likes. Now it's longer coils. Now when you put the wand on, you have to take in consideration the length from here to here is almost the size of that coil. So I found the best coils that fit on this, these ones are 16 to two. They're shorter coils. Sometimes they just have a little tiny coil on the end, or you're making the resistance too long, it's becoming longer and longer. So I'll turn the machine on and we'll try it out. Right, there's a 16 mil bar, I'm gonna try and heat him up. I'll put the pedal on this here so I can see it. Oh look, he's heating him up pretty good. Now, the, this is an extension of the machine. So what I do, I put a rubber handle around there because if you hold across the actual coils, you can get a static shock off there. So you're better off with a, make yourself a little rubber handle or hold it by the pipes. This is not very good that you're able to touch these here. I'd insulate that round there. Some of these come with rubber hoses on them, but it's up to the people what you decide what you want to do, or sometimes people mount these so they're mounted somewhere else away from their unit. So you're better off if you're using it as a mobile heating source, put a rubber clip round there so you're right insulating your hand or wear a glove. Uh, and we'll just try again, I'll just heat it up again and just have another look, I'll heat this bit. Now look at the time, it's tea break time and I've just thought of a fantastic idea. So I'm going to get my metal skewer like this, I'm going to put my dinner on it and we'll see if he works. So it's a good one for being on site. Oh. Be quick with a burning. Look how quick it heats it up. What I did find with these is they come with these thin little coil windings on here and you're better off with a high flow coil. These are the same. What we've been finding is when you make the coil jump down a size so it's easier to wind, it stops the coolant flow. It, the coolant flow is not enough. You're better off with the same size pipe all the way if you've got a longer coil. So we do high flow coils on our website, or if you make them, make them all out of the same size bar. Don't step them down like this. This looks like this coil will take 30 millimeter rod. It isn't. 
It's like 12 mil. You need a big air gap in there, or all the heat's transferring into this little pipe, and the water cooling can't go around fast enough because you're restricting the flow. A lot of people get the same issue when they put the joiners in here and they restrict the size, it puts the flow down and it can't cool the coils. The machine doesn't work properly then. Thank you very much. I'll do some more, as people ask questions, I'll do some more stuff on them.